Hello, konnichiwa. Welcome to, sorry, <laughs> welcome to Star Wars Blub, episode 5. We're going to talk about a Jedi's return today. We just came hot off Disney Plus Day. Uh, this is released on the 11th, but Disney Plus Day, we get we did get Thor Love and Thunder. We got Pinocchio, we got Cars on the Road, we got a couple of Frozen sing-alongs. Um, we got a couple more stuff. We also got a sneak peek for Andor, which was amazing. Basically, in the sneak peek of Andor, it's a little nine-minute video documentary thing. They basically gave us a scene from Andor, which was so cool. And I was watching it. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so dark and gritty. And dude, I cannot wait for Andor. It's going to be crazy. Um, but the majority of this episode is devoted to a Jedi's return, which was very, very well done. Um, I'm, and I'm going to break it down for you. Basically, it flowed very nicely, and we did get a lot of never-before-seen footage. Well, never-before-seen footage of the original trilogy behind the scenes, and also um, the prequels uh, behind the scenes, never-before-seen footage. So. Uh, that was that was really awesome and there's this one part in Jedi's Return when it's just you and McGregor standing in the volume and he's watching the original trilogy on the volume and he's just standing there looking at the volume and smiling and you know thinking about the days you know and there's this point when Alec Guinness says hello there my little friend um, and <laughs> You just see Ewan McGregor's face light up, and it's just it's just so cool. Um, yeah, but no, they they first they started with Ewan, his backstory, you know, how he came to Star Wars, him looking at Alec Guinness from the original trilogy. Uh, that was really cool. And then they kind of moved to Ewan and Hayden with the prequels, all the lightsaber fighting they had to do. Uh, Ewan and Hayden meeting as a partner, becoming partners. Um, that was that was so cool. Um, yeah, Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen just kind of coming together in that retro style was so funny. And there's this one part in the documentary where um, Ewan McGregor meets George Lucas for the first time. And Ewan McGregor is like wearing this... He's basically wearing like gangster clothes. He has this like athletic jacket on and sweatpants and he has a buzz cut and it's just so funny he goes like hi my name's Ewan oh I'm George you'll be playing Obi-Wan Kenobi cool he started talking so super cool super awesome um and then they basically show Ewan pick a lightsaber and Ewan McGregor basically talks about that paramental moment when they just present him with a box and they open it and uh they just show him all the lightsabers and he's like oh i want this one so um I've, i'm sure you've all seen that's that clip of you and mcgregor picking the lightsaber um yeah but no it it was just amazing and even behind the scenes of the obi-wan kenobi show in 2020 you and mcgregor walks into the props area in 2020 while they're filming obi-wan kenobi the series and he walks into there and he talks to the props director. And the props director actually shows him the original lightsaber he used for the prequels. And also the original lightsaber they used in the original trilogy, was, which was really, really cool. Um, yeah, Moses Ingram was in, the, was in the documentary. She basically talks about how she had to think about taking on a role of a baddie, of a bad guy. Um, and she even says... It's super cool to be nice, but there's something really awesome about being a bad guy, um, which I agree with. I think that's cool. Uh, Vivian Lyra, Lyra. Okay, I'm going to try to say your name right. Vivian Lyra Blair. There we go. I got it done. She is just an amazing actor. She played uh, young Leia. She played young Leia. Uh, she's just an amazing actor. For She's only 10, and she's a great actor. Like, dude. Um, Hadra Estri. Oh. Hadra Estri is like one of my favorite Star Wars characters now. I hope we see him in season two of Kenobi if it happens. Uh, Kumal Nanjani, great actor, amazing. Turning over to Hayden, 
they basically do so they do a backstory on Ewan, and then they do a backstory on Hayden, and they kind of just bring it all together at the end, which was really cool. Hayden Christensen basically talked about coming back to Vader and Anakin. Uh, they talk about the training session of Obi-Wan and Anakin in the show, and how they had to learn all the fight scenes. Um, and there's this part in the documentary where Hayden, it's his first day on set, and he calls to Ewan, and Ewan raises his hands because Ewan actually stayed to watch Hayden do a scene. Like, Ewan did a scene, and he could leave if he wanted to, but he stayed and watched Hayden Christensen on his first day. So, um, go watch The Jedi's Return. It's one of the best documentaries on Disney+. Plus. Uh, best Star Wars documentary I've ever seen. It's it's amazing. Uh, but yeah, no, that's basically it. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff, share. Yep, coming at you tomorrow then. Peace.